Now the grids can also double in size. And this is a smaller picture of the larger picture that I had before. And what you need to do here is to use the smaller grid. Now I've already established this, saves some time. You can see how it works. The smaller grid over the picture is exactly the same as the one inch. So this is a half inch, this is a one inch. And it's going to work the same way. Now let me show you how it works. I've already put the cross on here. And what I did here, I used a sepia pen. Uh, but you could use a red pen or you can use a... It depends. It's easier for me to show you though. Now let's first of all put the, the outline in. Uh, I'll do what I did before. I'll put this on here so that you can see both. Right. Now we come here, same as before, same as we did before, and the same lettering as well, so we, it, it makes it nice and easy for us. Come over and pick up down here, that tiny little bit we did before, if you remember, like that. And then if we follow it through, I'll speed this up. Come through here, down here, to about halfway, that's about there. And then down the rest of it. And it, it's close to the edge here until it gets to there. And then we fan out. And you won't need to do any more of that. You've seen that. Now up here, we come from again here, across the corner to the eye. And then eventually link up with the face. Okay, like that. Now the eye. Now the eye, as you can see here, that's too big. This, this square here represents this square here. So what do we do with that? Well, what we do that is use the smaller grid. This is the quarter inch grid. The quarter inch grid superimposes on there. And now we have the same situations we had for, except now we want to make it larger. So we follow that inside there. I hope you can see that okay. This line here is this line here. So we've got to get the eye in, almost all of it, in that box there. Now let's start the ball rolling. And it continues on the other side there. And then that's the eyelid. This, you can see, is quite close to the bottom. And so like that, and then we've got the pupil in, which is almost spot on that line there, just a little to one side of it, and in there. There we are. Now, no need for me to do any more, but um, you can see how it works. And I still prefer, and would prefer you to blow your original picture up that you've got and do it one to one. Because going up, it, it works as you can see, but it's a little more tricky to do that. So it's better to have it as a larger picture. Anyway, that's transferred in the same way as before. So now I'm going to show you the next subject, which will be a German Shepherd.